Hi everyone, my name is Jeremy Lyle. I'm the Executive Director of Heart to Heart Leadership. And we're talking a lot about leadership well-being and what are some practices we can do to help us kind of recenter in who we are in life and in our leadership and how we stay grounded in those things. Four components we often talk about at Heart to Heart as it relates to leadership well-being are our physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual dimensions. And one of our favorite studies, you've probably heard us talk about it, the human era at work between Harvard Business Review and the Energy Project identifies those four areas and talks about the spiritual dimension being the single greatest contributor to employee well-being and then also how uh, we as leaders can model that and shape that. And, and that spiritual dimension for them means finding a sense of meaning and purpose in the work that we do. One way I like to think about that is uh, from a story where uh, someone asks the questions, who are you, where are you going, and why are you going there? And so as we kind of look at this specific aspect of uh, the spiritual dimension of who we are as leaders, you're going to see an image come up on your screen. Um, the title of it is Ikigai. It's a, a Japanese concept that uh, talks about our reason for being, kind of the, the deeper sense of the why behind what we do. And um, there's different elements of it that it looks at, our sense of profession, our sense of passion, our sense of mission, and our sense of vocation. That, that idea of, you know, something that, that we, we have a sense that we're just, you know, born to do this thing or called to do this thing. Um, and so one of the things that I like to do, I have this image framed in my office, is to just every once in a while kind of step back and reflect on the image and um, imagine myself, and maybe this is just one of my own little quirks that I like to do, but you know, kind of like on Google Maps where you can grab the little person and drop them uh, on the map. You know, imagine that, that if I were thinking about my life right now, and so I want to invite you to do the same thing. If thinking about your life and leadership right now, where would you drop yourself on this image? You know, do you have a, a stronger sense of your profession and maybe, you know, putting a lot of energy and effort into that? Or maybe it's your passion, you're in a season of life where you're pursuing that a little bit further, or one of those other dimensions. Um, so just take a moment, I'll, I'll be quiet and let you reflect on where are you right now? And then also to then think about where would you like to be? Is there a sense that maybe some things are out of balance? And I always tell people and, and think about that for myself too, it doesn't have to mean right in the middle. Again, maybe different season of life, you're, you're wanting to focus on something uh, a little bit more prominently. So um, again, imagine dropping a little dot or, or a little you know, version of yourself onto that image where you would like to be as far as living out that sense of purpose. And then the last thing I'll ask you to imagine doing is just drawing a line between those two little people or dots that you, you dropped on that image. Um, you know, is it a wide gap? Is it a, a short little gap? Um, and then to just take another moment to reflect upon what's keeping you from getting from where you are to where you would like to be? Are there internal things that are kind of hijacking you? Um, maybe even messages that you tell yourself, oh, I could never do that, or I'm not good enough, or you know, whatever those things may be. Or maybe there's external things that are keeping us from getting to where we would like to be as far as living out a greater sense of purpose and leading from that place. What are those things? And then lastly, to just think about what's one or two things that I could do right now to begin moving greater in that direction of living and leading from that place of purpose. And that's it. I encourage you to revisit this every once in a while and take those moments of uh, we, we talk often heart to heart about purposeful pauses. Well, this is a purposeful pause on purpose and to think about um, and reflect upon how are you living and leading from that place of purpose. Thank you.